Now that you've gotten a taste of one ride, it might be helpful to get an idea of how the week works. As you might imagine, not everyone can do the same activity on the same day, so the whole group of students, staff, and parents gets broken into two teams, cleverly named Team 1 and Team 2. Each of those groups gets divided into four families with more evocative ocean-related names, for example, sea elephants and clownfish. After being assigned to a family during Monday's camp setup, teams set out on their first all-day ride on Tuesday. Team 1 doing Wilder Ranch and Team 2 doing Poconet. So the next day, they just switch, right? Not so much. Wednesday brings two new half-day activities, kayaking Monterey Bay and visiting the famous Monterey Bay Aquarium. Of course, to make sure everyone gets a chance to do everything, two families from Team 2 begin the day with kayaking and the other two start at the aquarium. And then, halfway through the day, they swap, which means changing in or out of wetsuits and street clothing and also shuttling in between locations and finding time to eat lunch. And of course, Team 1 gets a chance to ride Poganip. Lest you think that you've got the system figured out, there are a few other activities through which families rotate every day, notably cook crew duties for both breakfast and dinner. Here on Thursday, Team 2's Moray Eel family must help in the kitchen before joining the rest of the team to ride Poganip. And the Sea Bass family helps after the ride. Of course, this has been going on for all families all week. Friday, we ride the Forest of Nicene Marks, alternately known as Mount Doom. Mount Doom. Mount Doom. As a very special treat, the Dolphin family gets to do morning cook crew before everyone rides the challenging 10-mile route up the mountain. Oh boy. But more on that later. Now, on with the show. <laughs> 